guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So we are back with our second experiment with the Arteza Pouring Acrylic Colors. So these are pre-mixed pouring paint. You don't need to add anything. They come from Arteza in a box. Um, I'll show you. They have 32 paints in the box. And it is 28 colors because they give you extra whites and extra black. So we're going with a warm color scheme today. I am using some Mars Black. Whoops. I apparently did not get the label fully off. Um, so if you did not see my first video with these, check that out. In that video, I did a flip cup. In this video, we are doing a tree ring. So when I'm testing out a new paint, I like to try the different techniques to see how they each react. Um, so after this one, I'll probably add silicone in one and see how that works and stuff. So I got Brilliant Red. This is the neon orange. I'm using mid yellow. So the link to that first description or the first video experiment will be down in the description. Please check that out if you haven't yet. All right, and then instead of white, I'm going with carnation pink. So just a real light pink and a color I wouldn't normally use. So we're gonna go ahead and give that a go. I'm not trying to make this too dark. I also don't want it to be all red. <laughs> so let's go a little more orange. A little more yellow and then a little more pink. There we go. All right. So, like I said, we're going to go ahead and do a tree ring. This is a 10 by 10 canvas. And I want to see how this does with lines and cells. Some people love no cells, some people love cells. With tree rings, I generally would rather not have cells. So we shall see. So far, so good. I'm gonna let it sit there for a second while I get these other paints out of the way. All right, here we go. So I have found that these paints are a little bit thinner than my usual mixture, but not to a point where it is a problem. They are nice, really vibrant colors, as you can see there. Um, so I definitely like that factor about them. And they don't, um, even though they are, like I said, a little thinner, they don't blend too much, so that's good. Careful not to run too much off the canvas. Almost there. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta be pretty delicate with your painting to get it to look just how you want. There we go, okay, awesome. So we got some of that really cool green in there which is from the yellow and the black. Funny thing is I originally did not know that yellow and black made green and then someone not so super nice to me pointed it out, but that's okay. <laughs> now I know. Um, and I use it to my advantage to add an extra color to paintings without actually adding green. So let's go ahead, we'll let this sit to see if any other cells or anything else develops and then we'll come back and we'll do our close up. 
Okay, so far so good. I don't see any cells really developing. There are a couple little circles, but it's looking good. Let's do our close up. All right, bottom right hand corner. Look at these awesome lines up here to the upper right hand corner. Over here to the upper left hand corner. And then down to my favorite section, the lower left hand corner. Look at this. So cool. I had to be super careful not to run all that off the canvas. I love it. So this stuff does great for tree rings, it looks like. Okay, and then here is the middle. And there you go. All right, guys, don't turn off the video just yet. We'll be right back with the dry version in just a couple days. Okay, guys, we're back. This is how it looks completely dry. So it stayed fairly glossy. The lines are just gorgeous. I actually really love this piece. Colors are nice and bright. Um, yeah, it's awesome. It has like a bit of gloss. You can see the glare there, but it's not like super duper 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 glossy. It is not as glossy as the Artist Loft Premix paints, but it is glossier than my regular Artist Loft Floetrol mix. So it is a bit glossier than that. Um, and yeah, so far I am actually loving these paints. Yes, they are small small bottles, so I will be recommending to the company. I don't know if they actually like, you know, listen to direct little comments, but I will be recommending to them that they offer some larger bottles. But for someone just starting out with acrylic pouring or someone who likes to do a lot of smaller projects, this is actually like a really good set, I think. Um, so far, I'm actually a total fan of this. So I hope you guys like this one, different color scheme, different technique, and we'll be trying these paints out in the next video with some silicone. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.